Hi everyone, we would like to welcome you to Real Talk. I'm your host, Pat Terrio, and we're here at the Emerald City Senior Living, and I just wanted to really talk to some moms, to reminisce a little bit, to talk about some little stories about their family, their faith, and just to have a little good time. And I'm here with Miss Margie Rose. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm great. It's so good to be on the couch with you today. Thank you. It's good to have you. Now, I want to know some things about you, Miss Margie. Now, I know you've been in this city for a long time. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, um, for the last two, three years, I have lived here at the Lodge, mm -hmm. and it's been a fun time. Yes. And I have uh, a wonderful family. A wonderful son. Yes, tell us about your family. <laughs> what about your family? Uh, I have a son, Al, and he married, and I've got a wonderful daughter now. Mm -hmm. And I have two, three grandchildren. How old are your grandchildren? Well, now I'd have to count them. <laughs> 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 They're, I can't tell you their age. But you, you're a grandmother. You love being a grandmother. Oh, and, yeah. And what are some of the things that you used to do in the community when you were working? And Oh, I worked at, I started off at the Citizen and Southern Bank. Mm -hmm. Our boss man wouldn't let us say CNS because right. he said that could be colonial stores or anything. So we had mm -hmm. to say Citizens and Southern Bank. That's where I started. Mm -hmm. And then when I had my son, I stayed home a while with him. And I, when I went back to work, it was at Colleen's Flower Shop. I remember Colleen's flower <laughs> shop. That was a fun job. I bet it was. It was. It really was. And so what kind of fun things do you like to do? What kind of activities do you enjoy doing? Uh, Are you a dancer? Yeah. <laughs> no, but if I was young, I'd be playing basketball. Is that right? You know I was a basketball player, too. Oh, we got a Court out you got there. a court? I got a bad knee. What about you? You got any? <laughs> <laughs> so, what school did you go to when you played basketball? Uh, Cadwell High School. Cadwell High School. Mm -hmm. Wow. And we had fun, fun time. Mm -hmm. Did you get to go to any of the reunions that you had? Oh yeah, we had good, good times there. Now, I, you know, as a mom, you know, I've got three kids, three teenagers. And so what kind of advice can you give me with three teenagers? Run. <laughs> <laughs> what if I have no place to run? <laughs> no, no, no. It all comes natural. Mm -hmm. you, it'll be a fun time for you. I think so, and I think that with, with as um, you know, as they get older, those are different milestones and, and, and different things like that we, we as moms tend to experience. That's it's, right. So I take the good with the bad. Absolutely. <laughs> and it'll be more good than bad. Absolutely. It absolutely is. And you having a son and grandchildren, how much fun is that? That's wonderful. <laughs> now, do you get to see them quite often? Yeah. They live here in town. Mm -hmm. So I see them. Um, I see my son just about every day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And my grandchildren, I don't see them enough. But now they they live here too, but they're busy. Now, are you a, are you one of those grandmas that we generally, as parents, have to deprogram our children because y'all gotten them so sweet and buttered up? <laughs> well, I'll never tell. You'll never tell. <laughs> well, listen, I've enjoyed this time with you, Miss Margie. Oh, I've enjoyed it too. You're such a special one. Is our time over? It is over, but you can hang out with me anytime. Thank you very much. Thank you. That was a fun time. It was. <laughs> I've got another sweet mama with me here, Miss Virginia Dale. Hi, Miss Virginia. Hello. You know, I've been having such a good time just being here, hanging out with you girls. <laughs> well, well, you could be here on a permanent basis <laughs> if you were old enough. Now, what age limit, what's the age limit here? We don't have any age limit. So I could just bring my bags and, and hang yeah, out? Sure, if you got <laughs> enough money. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> now, Miss Virginia, I want you to tell us a little bit about yourself, okay? 
You don't want to hear it. I do want to hear it. And those people out there are just, they are just so excited to hear something about you and your oh, family. I'm sure they are. Okay, I was born in Waycross, Georgia, which is in Ware County. Yes. In 1920. So now I've told you my age. You have told me your age. Yeah, what else you want to know? <laughs> Tell us about I, your family. I have two boys, and they are grown and old and married <laughs> and have children, and I have one grandchild. One grandchild. One grandchild. Uh, and he is in Washington State working for Amazon, wow. which I'm sure everybody knows about Amazon. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. I know you're proud of your family, Miss Virginia. I am. So tell us about some of the things that Miss Virginia enjoys doing. Reading, uh, working jigsaw puzzles, mm -hmm. working crossword puzzles. Um, what kind of books do you like to read? Now, do you like to read those uh, Harlequin romance books? No, I don't <laughs> know that stuff. I mean... Is that considered garbage? It is. <laughs> it is. And, but I like a good mystery. Murder mysteries? Not too much murder. Mm -hmm. no, just, just something mysteries. that makes your mind think. Yeah. Now, what, did you, what, what, what profession did you have? I was a bookkeeper. That's why you like to read. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't like to read figures. <laughs> So you were a bookkeeper? Yeah, I was a bookkeeper. And so now here you are, you're, um, you've got grandchildren, two. two grandchildren, and you know, I want to know what kind of advice that you ladies can give to me as a mom, as a woman, because you grew up in a different era than I did. Absolutely. And so therefore you've taken some different things from how you were raised. Well, I was disciplined. Mm -hmm. Um, my mom and dad both loved me, mm -hmm. and I loved my daddy. Oh, he was great. Are you a dad? Were you a daddy's girl? Yeah, <laughs> of course. Of and my course. and my brother was a mama's boy. <laughs> you know that's usually how it is. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, and my brother used to fight. My brother and I used to fight all the time. You know. Yeah. Picky, picky. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Who would win though? I would, because I'd run in the house and crawl under the bed. Of course you do. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I have, uh, I'm number 13 or 14 kids. Can you imagine how we were? Ooh. I know. Don't even say it. <laughs> but back then, where I grew up, you know, they go get a switch. What do you mean when back when, when you grow up? <laughs> what do you know about back so when? So I haven't, I haven't grown up. Uh, I, my back when is a little bit... Uh, L a little later than yours, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> a lot later. And what do you think now, Miss Virginia, how things have changed so much? Yeah. Yeah, these, these children nowadays, they've got something in their hand. They were running around doing this on it, <laughs> doing that. <laughs> these cell phones. You got cell a cell phone? phone? Do you have a cell phone? Oh, why do I want a cell phone? You might want to text or something. Oh, shh. Uh, that, <laughs> that's for the young people. That's for the young That's people. But you know, it's so nice to be sitting here with you and, and just talking to you. And I, and I know you love your family and, and you've been enjoying these girls here. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, I yeah, this is a good place and they're good to us and we have our freedom pretty mm -hmm. much. Mm -hmm. uh, only thing we have to do is when we leave, we have to sign out. When we get back, we're supposed to sign back in. There you go. Which is good. They keep it up with us. They keep. You yeah. got to be kept up with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got to watch us. Got to watch it. All right. This is Miss Virginia, everyone. I've got Miss Gladys Ware here. Hey, Miss Gladys. Hey. I love that shirt. I do too. <laughs> it's so cute on you. Yeah. Now, Ms. Gladys, tell us a little bit about you. I want to get to know you a little better. Well, I, there's really nothing to tell about me. <laughs> I'm sure there is, Ms. Gladys. Have you, are you from here? Are you from Dublin? No. Where are you from? Lanceburg, Kentucky. Kentucky? You're a Kentucky girl. Yeah. What brought you all the way down here? There's two, three little young ones that's running around here, <laughs> hoping they could get a maybe a puzzle or something out of you. <laughs> Is that right? And I said, well, she's busy. Mm -hmm. She cannot just drop everything and 
bring some little tactic to you guys. Now tell me this. Now, do you have um, you have children? Uh, yes, there's two boys. Two boys. Are you a grandmother? Uh, yeah. Five or six times over. Five or six times over. You yes, lose count after a while. Huh? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> now, what kind of activities that you enjoy doing? Sitting there? <laughs> <laughs> Silence. Right. Solitaire. Silence means golden. It is golden, isn't it? it sure now, some is. people can always keep keep silent. You know, I'm a talkative person. Can you tell? Right. <laughs> So what things do you like to talk about, Miss Gladys? Oh, uh, I don't know. It's just most near anything if if it comes in right. Mm -hmm. Now, do you like watching movies? Oh, yeah. What's some of your favorites? I don't know. Just anything? Yeah. Do you like westerns? Yeah, I kind of like westerns. You know, I grew up, my dad loved watching westerns. Bonanza, yeah. Gunsmoke, yeah. all of those things. Yeah, yeah. And so, you know, so in your time when you're not just sitting and being quiet, what things do you enjoy doing just to help you relax? I like to watch the TV, you mm -hmm. know, and, and, you know, they've got to stuff on them now. They've they, got some crazy stuff on there now. Well, you're not kidding. Except for on TV 35. <laughs> Yeah, but lots of times TV 35 flunks over to the <laughs> closet. So tell me this now. Um, so you, you're a grandmother. How many children did you have? Two. Two children. Now I'm asking all the ladies. Two boys. Two boys. No girls? No. So you know what they say about boys? No. I mean, when boys, before boys can leave the house, they're so stuck to their mothers. Is that true? No, I don't think so. My sometime. Sometimes. Sometimes. If you spoil them be. real good. Yeah. <laughs> but there's, I mean, there's a lot of times that uh, they go out and I don't even say hey goodbye or nothing. Mm hmm Now tell me what what profession did you have back in the day? Going to uh, work. Get the. What did you work? Where did you used to work? Can you remember? No, not really. But mm -hmm. it was it was at a, a restaurant, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and that was a mess. <laughs> it was a mess. <laughs> <laughs> were you, were you ever a mess back in the day? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Confession is good for the soul, isn't it? That's right, and I am glad that I confessed. <laughs> You have just finished the confessional. You did well. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. We're here with Miss Maudie Claxton McClendon. You're looking fabulous, darling. How are you? I'm fine. You know, you and I just had a conversation, and we were talking about age. Now, um, you said you're okay with, with telling us how old you are, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. We'll let you go ahead and proceed. How old are you? I'm 90. Six. Ninety-six. Six. And still fabulous. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we want to know a little something about you. You want to share a little bit about you? Okay. Go right ahead. You just asked me the question. Well, you tell no. me this. Are you from here originally, or how long have you been here in Lawrence County? I'm from Dublin. You are from Dublin. So where mm -hmm. did you go to high school? Well, uh, in Johnson County. You're you know. a Johnson County graduate? <laughs> Kite, Georgia. Kite, Georgia. Mm -hmm. That's a little small town, isn't mm -hmm. it? Very small. Tell mm -hmm. us about your family. I have one daughter. Oh, a, a large family. You we, come from a large family, mm -hmm. so you have grandchildren. I have grandchildren, mm -hmm. great-grandchildren. You're a great-grandmother. Great-grandmother. You know, my grandmother lived to be 108 years old, and I used to sit on her floor and just listen to her tell stories. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you like to tell a lot of stories and reminisce? Um, yes, I do. I do. We, we have a very old... Um, like your family here. Reunion once yes. a year. So tell, me, tell us a little story about something about your family. 
Can you remember? I couldn't. I mean, I can't remember mm -hmm. just one, just pull one out. Couldn't just, but there's so many. Yes. And you know, and it's good that you have family reunions because mm -hmm. we used to have one every year, the year of my grandmother's birthday, mm -hmm. every year. And I thought that was so special. Okay. And so give me some of the wisdom. I know that in 96 years, you've acquired some kind of wisdom from somewhere, haven't you? Oh, yes. <laughs> I retired from J.C. Penney Company. Did you? And when did you retire? Can you remember when you retired? No, I cannot remember the date. I worked for uh, J.C. Penney when I was in high school. Oh, really? Yes, yes. yes. And, and so you worked in retail. Yes. I can tell. Mm -hmm. You still like to dress, don't you? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like to travel. I mm -hmm. like to go. And, what some of the places you like to go or have been? Um, well, we used to go to the mountains every year. Oh, yeah. So relaxing up there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What other things? I lived in Virginia for 20 years. Did you? It's a beautiful country. It is so beautiful. Mm -hmm. We lived right mm -hmm. there by the Chesapeake Bay when right, we were there. Right, you're right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So much culture there, and there's so much history there in Virginia. The James River. Yes, mm -hmm. James River Bridge. I remember that. Yes. You two, you and I, you know, we probably passed one another through life and didn't realize it. Could have. Could have. <laughs> so many similarities. Sure. And so as I've told you all, I've got three kids, and I want to get a little motherly advice. Is there anything that you have been taught or you've learned as a mom that you can share with me and for the other mothers out there? Well, I can't think of anything, mm -hmm. but those grandchildren are special. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're just special. Is it different for you being a grandmother and being with the grandkids as opposed to when you were the mom? Well, them? I enjoy the grandchildren now. Mm -hmm. And they are... Are they a handful? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we used to keep them on vacations oh, for the parents you? and did everything. You? How special were that, giving your, giving your kids breaks? Well, that was great. It was. Well, you seem like you're a wonderful grandmother and great-grandmother. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. 96 years young. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs>all right we've got miss ola arnold here how are you doing you little pretty silver fox <laughs> Fine. wonderful well listen i want we want to know a little bit about you can you tell us a little something about yourself and your family well i came from a large family how large was your family well i'm the 14th and there was two more besides that oh my goodness but uh it's we all enjoyed each other. My daddy never told us do this more than once. Mm -hmm. Because they didn't have to back then, did they? He didn't have time. <laughs> so you were number 14, I'm number 13. Did you and I loved having a big family. Oh, I, love I do it. too. What kind of fun things can you remember you all doing? Well, uh, we worked most of the time. Were you on a farm? Were you yes, born we here were in Lawrence County? Uh, Johnson County. In Johnson County. And but my daddy was a hard worker. He mm -hmm. knew how to to have a uh, raise a family mm -hmm. and also had a farm. A farm. And you know, so you grew up in Johnson County, and and you grew up on a farm. So I can only imagine how hard you had to work. And you being one of the youngest now, you probably didn't have to work as hard as the older ones. That's why they say it. But I don't, I don't believe You don't it. think so? I didn't believe so either. I felt like they always told me that the, the younger ones got, got away with more stuff. What do you think about that? Yeah, they, they, they say that. <laughs> I didn't, that didn't bother me too It didn't bad. bother me too bad either. I felt it was just gruesome, the work that we had to do on the farm. I did. <laughs> but you know, uh, it's the most uh, rewarding thing mm -hmm. that my daddy and mother could ever give us me. Mm -hmm. You just wait till you get to be 87. You're 87? Oh my goodness, I love that. I think that's beautiful. And and I know that, that the reason that I'm 87 is because of the raising that mm -hmm. I have. Mm -hmm. I always like to call that good home training. 
And that the, is very <laughs> good. That's a good wording. And part. those values stick with you. So how have they stuck? Have they stuck with you being a also being a mom and and having your own kids? What yeah. values did you take from your parents? Well, my children are proud of me, mm -hmm. and uh, they they know that uh, you know that. But I did have some good training, mm -hmm. and I always wanted them to have good training. And I believe they do, because I think that how you were raised, I think that you, you were instilled, so your parents instilled so much within you, and you were able to instill that within your children. Right. And I think generation, gener, as far as your generation goes, it's going to trickle all the way down. Well, uh, that is right. We don't have four of us left, mm -hmm. and uh, two of them sick today. Two of them are. Uh -huh. And two of them has, I mean, uh, my brother has uh, uh, He has a, something's going on with his leg. legs. Uh -huh. But I bet you, I'm going to say this, are you all still very close? Yeah. <laughs> and, and we kept in, uh, we can't, we love to talk to each other. You do? Yeah, yes. and I, that's what I miss now. I don't have but three other than me. Three left. And mm -hmm. and I just miss that. I, I had somebody to call and talk to, mm -hmm. and I miss that. Yeah, yeah. But but anyway, I love it, and I'm glad that they grew. We had a large family. And you know that's really a blessing too. That's really a blessing because a lot of times people don't expect big families to be that close. <laughs> you and I, we've proved them wrong, haven't we? Yeah. <laughs> oh yes. But now I can, now you have. Times. Yes, you get on each other's nerves from time right. to time, right? But I mean, you get over that. Yes, and because the bottom line is your family. Yes, right. <laughs> and there's something I've learned that since I'm in my 80s mm -hmm. that you can't be uh, right all the time. That's right. You're gonna have to accept mm -hmm. when you're wrong. That's right, and you're going to have to make changes. Mm -hmm. You know, people sometimes have a hard time with that. And you know, they say the older we get, the worse it is. Yeah, yeah. but you, there's a way. <laughs> That's right. You can, you can say, you can, they, you know, like they told me, they said, mm -hmm. now I don't see them drive anymore. You can't, you don't drive. I don't drive. And I, I stopped you driving. You gave it up, you gave it up. I didn't, I didn't fuss <laughs> or fight uh, anything about it. Right. And uh, it wasn't it because I didn't want to. But you knew. But but something down inside of me told me that, oh, it's time for you to make some change. And you know, I think that's beautiful. And that's beautiful advice that you've given me without even knowing it. Thank you so much, Miss Elva. Thank you. And we're here with two beautiful sisters, Miss Helen P. Johnson and Ann P. Hodges. Hi, sisters. Hello. <laughs> now, we've been chatting, and, and you've told me you're the oldest of them. Uh-huh, I'm the oldest. And uh -huh. you make sure everybody knows that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, so here you are, your sisters. You're here together. Tell us a little bit about yourselves, okay? Well, I was born first. First and I saw, Yeah, uh-huh. And of course, I was born in the country, mm -hmm. and I lived in the country here in Lawrence County, in Johnson, Johnson uh, in County. Lawrence County. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. And uh, so Anne was the baby. You're the baby girl. Uh -huh. Do you enjoy being the baby girl? I did. <laughs> I had one one brother. <laughs> I had one brother. He was in the middle. He was in the middle. Uh huh. And he. Oh, has gone on to be with Jesus. Gone to be and, with Jesus. Uh -huh. yeah. Now I want to ask you, Ann, was she bossy as a, <laughs> as a big sister? Yes. <laughs> I had to ask that, Miss Helen. And still am. She's still bossy. <laughs> <laughs> now, what? What? How many years apart are you two? Well, let's see. <laughs> let's see. Two, four, six. Ann is a seven, 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 seven years. Between, seven years, uh -huh, seven years different. Uh -huh. And so here you are. Were you close when you were growing up? Uh, yes, we were. And she had uh, 
something wrong with her when she was two years old mm -hmm. and almost she was in the garden with mother mm -hmm. and she ate something in there mm. and she almost we almost lost her. almost lost her they put her the doctor came out and stayed at the house for two weeks for two weeks uh -huh, trying to you know get her back really quick so and you know you're a miracle right <laughs> yes <laughs> you are definitely a miracle i've been told that several times several times <laughs> <laughs> now, I want to know, like, how your childhood was. Well, uh, I was the oldest, mm -hmm. so they said I gave the orders, but I didn't. And Hold on just a second. <laughs> Did she? Uh -huh. Okay, continue. <laughs> well, I was the oldest, so mm -hmm. I was the one that... You uh, had to, really. Yeah, uh -huh, because I had to. You, uh -huh. Especially when you were so many years oh, different. Yes, yeah, been when there's a boy in the middle and mm -hmm. he and Ann are fighting all the time. Ann. <laughs> And, did you uh, fight a lot? Yes, we did. <laughs> we lived in the country, mm -hmm. and you can imagine what the country is like back then. I grew up in the country, but you grew up in the country, um, and what, what in year was East that? Dublin, and, um, in East Dublin. In East Dublin. Yeah. Uh -huh. and, uh, and so tell me what kind of things did you all like to do? Uh, or what was there to do in the country back then? Not well, much. <laughs> Well, we lived in the country, and my daddy farmed, mm -hmm. and so I did. I did do cotton mm -hmm. work, you know, in the outside mm -hmm. back then. You know, children right. did things you had like to work that. The far you had to work the farm. That's right. That's right. So mm -hmm. we did. But of course, I was a baby, and uh, my daddy had no other his uh, or any. He had a sister mm -hmm. and two brothers, mm -hmm. and neither one of them had children. And uh, so I, me being the oldest, right. I had to stay in Dublin with my grandmother and mm -hmm. go to school and uh, in Saxon Heights. Saxon Heights? Yep, <laughs> Saxon Heights. <laughs> what do you remember about going to school at Saxon Heights? My goodness, alive. <laughs> you wouldn't need to believe it. But anyway, I was, was gone. And uh, when I'd come back in the afternoons, because we were one block from the from the school. You could walk, you walked to school. Uh, yeah, I walked to school every day. And so coming back, of course, you know, we played along the way. Mm -hmm. Well, my grandmother, we had the house that she was in which belonged to her mother long ago. Mm -hmm. And there was a big uh, barn down on the corner of the uh, register. Right. And so when our school was out, my grandmother would go down to the barn mm -hmm. And there was a little crack, you know how barns fall out. Right? Yes. <laughs> and she'd look. And so if I played along mm -hmm. on the way home, oh my. when I got home, mm -hmm. she picked me up and took me in the bathroom and she spanked me. <laughs> so I got all that all along that. the way. So being the big sister <laughs> and getting the spankings. So how was life for you, Miss Ann? What do you remember? I was just a child. <laughs> I, so, was, I was the youngest. You were the youngest. Now, so like we said before, usually the youngest gets to get gets away with a lot. Was that you? Yes. yes. <laughs> so Hon honesty is for you. <laughs> it is. Honesty is the best policy. So how is it for you two as sisters still being, you know, being together and still uh, being close like you are? Well, I looked after a way of what they wanted me to do. I did. Mm -hmm. uh, in other words, I was the one that was the boss. <laughs> no, I wasn't. They did what they wanted to do. And, mm -hmm. of course, my brother. We had the one brother, you know. Mm -hmm. And, of course, we had problems with him. And uh, when Ann was sick, we had to go over and stay with my grandmother mm -hmm. part of the time, you know. Right. And uh, my brother was, he was uh, he was a mess. He was a mess. <laughs> and he was star. Well, him being and the only boy, see, he right. was spoiled too, like she was, and mm -hmm. I was the one that had to take it. So you had to, you had to get the brunt of everything. I think. Yeah, and we'd go over to my. They take us over to our grandmother's, mm -hmm. you know, because we couldn't stay home. Mm -hmm. And uh, so Lewis would come over when he was going on, and he said, "Nosh, nosh, nosh. That's all Mama does is nosh." <laughs> <laughs> See, she made him, take, made him wash his face right, and his right, hand, right. you know, all that. The little boys don't want to do. They, they still don't want to do it. I've got two of them. Oh, you have. <laughs> 
I anyway. Still, I still got, but, I got two of them. But Daddy would take us over there and drop us off, you know, and he'd mm -hmm. come bring us back home in the afternoon. I mean, let us go home. Right. Then he'd take us back to spend the night. Mm -hmm. So Ann really fouled up how growing up. And you hear that she's talking <laughs> yeah, about? Yeah, I, I, I've heard that several times. Now, is there any truth to what she's saying? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> how is it for you, Miss Ann, with your big sister here with you? Well, I I was just a child, a child, mm -hmm. and I really didn't know anything about any of all this stuff, right. you know. Mm -hmm. And how is so, it for you now, having your sister with you now? She's still my best. Your best buddy. Is she your best buddy. She's still the boss. <laughs> well, listen, I've enjoyed both of you. You know, I, I grew up with eight sisters. So, oh, my goodness. And, I, and I, I love my sisters. I'm very close mm -hmm. to my sisters, and it's so nice to see you two still close, even though well, you know who's we're, the boss. Yeah, we are the, all the family, except Ann's got a son, mm -hmm. got a daughter that's still living. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, my brother brother has a son that's living. So you still have some family around, yeah, but you uh -huh. definitely do have no, one another. Uh -huh. Yeah, all um, right. We'll, that's the reason we are out here. <laughs> yes, all right. Well, thank you so much, sisters. We well, appreciate thank you. having appreciate you on. It. You know, we've had such a wonderful time here talking to these ladies, and I've got Miss Louise Ingram here on the couch. How are you doing, Miss Louise? I'm fine. It's good to see you. It's nice to see you too. Now I have been listening to the ladies and talking to them, all the stories they want to share about their families and and how they grew up. Now tell us, tell us a little bit about you, okay? Well, I grew up in Dublin. You're a Dublin girl. Yeah, on the Claxton farm. Row. You know what? And okay, go. You and I were talking, we were talking a little earlier, and I just found something very interesting out about Miss Louise. She remembers my mom. <laughs> I used to live next door to your mother. Oh my gosh. And, and father. How significant is that? Because my mom passed away. Um, a lot of people don't know that, and some do, but she passed away when I was two years old. And so to, to meet someone that actually knew my mom and knew my dad, that's really special to me. I know, I know, <laughs> yeah. All right, keep, keep going, you go ahead. Yeah, well. I grew up in Dublin. I went to school at Washington Street, and I, that was in 50. In the 50s? In 50. In 50. Mm -hmm. Not the 50s. Oh, in 1950. <laughs> yeah. I got you. And <clears throat> we left and we moved up to Shady Girl. That's up at Dublin. Yes, that was my mom. That's where I yeah. met your mother. You met my mom. Yes. And I married a boy. And his mother and father live next door to your mother and father. Wow. I'm going to ask this question. How was my mom? Lovely. <laughs> Beautiful woman. Hmm. I used to sit and talk to her Is all that the time. Right? Yes. You know, Miss yeah. Louise, I often, you know, I often think about, you know, just kind of wishing that I was. Um, that I did remember my mom, or that I was around, you know, that she was still around. But you know, it's so nice to meet other ladies and 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 mothers and and just women who, who still instill so many good values yes. into someone it like is. me. It is. Yes. And so, just keep going. I'm gonna let you keep going. I keep interrupting you, but I'm getting a little teary-eyed. You're talking about uh, my about my mom. Go ahead. So I left here in 1955. Mm -hmm. And I went to Detroit, and I stayed there until 2011 after I had the stroke, and I come back here. And you came back. So how was mm -hmm. life in Detroit for you? And you know, that's totally different from being down here in the South, Miss Louise. Well. Movers and shakers up there. It, <laughs> <laughs> well, it was beautiful for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was able to go on. Go to school, finish mm -hmm. school, go to college, what did you get go to a college? pretty good job. You did. What kind yeah. of work were you doing? Uh, I worked for the state. I worked in the hospital, mm -hmm. and I was a hist hostess historian. Mm -hmm. I was the first one you saw come in the hospital. And you know that's very important. It was for me. <laughs> <laughs> so, what kind of things do you like to do for fun? I know you like to have fun. Uh, well, when I was able, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I used to like to dance. I liked really? To play. That's, 
Yes. What kind of dancing you like to do? Oh, I did it. <laughs> you know, that's cold for booty shaking. <laughs> But you know what I think, and dancing is such good exercise. Yes, it was for it me. Is. Yes. It kept me trim. I bet it did. It did. I bet it did. <laughs> what other things, Miss Louise? <sighs> Since you're a minister, I don't like to say it, but I played the card. <laughs> you played? <laughs> You know, playing cards is fun. Yeah, I played, and I like to play bingo. You know, I used to work like at a bingo hall. Uh-huh. <laughs> I played uh, chess. Yes. All those board I, games are fun. They help, yes. they help relax the mind. And yep. I ran track. Did you? I, I played with the kids. Oh, I did everything. So you were really, you really had a very active life. Oh yes, oh mm -hmm. yes, oh yes. Had a really active life. Mm -hmm. All right. So this is a question I've been asking the ladies. What kind of advice can you give me, as a young woman? I've got three kids. Well, the only advice I can tell you, mm -hmm. and that I know, and that I try to go by. Mm -hmm. It's love everyone, mm -hmm. treat everyone right. Yes. And my mother always told me, and this is my lifestyle, I like to try to treat every, treat others like I want them to treat me. Mm, that's beautiful advice, not just for me and mother, just for everybody out there. <laughs> Thank you so much, Miss Louise. Thank you. I've certainly enjoyed today um, with all of the ladies here. They have been just so sweet and so special and so feisty and so honorary and just so lovely, all rolled up into one. I want to thank you all for watching, and please keep watching us. Thank, thank you. you.